Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. Hopefully you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Hopefully it's really nice and warm wherever you're at. Uh, it's straight up springtime over here, so I got my allergies going. Hopefully, hopefully that doesn't annoy you too much. But hey, at least it's warm. Um... Well, look at this. So we had a little problem when we we're adding tiles with the lock on um, and we we're checking for tile empty at these positions. Now, the problem is there is no problem here, but we're still throwing this if we're outside of the bounds. We don't want to throw anything there. We just want to kind of leave it alone. You know what I mean? And we'll just return false. Um, yeah, we'll just return false basically if... It's outside and that will mean the tile is not empty and won't do anything uh, to that hopefully this should work um, now once that's done this is in tile map CPP by the way uh, in the tile empty function once that's done we want to start working on the item class but let's just check this out let's just work on this really quickly see if everything works we don't get any uh, weird errors or anything so the maps loading in and the editor is loading in and we can have the lock on and we can render or we can uh, draw tiles just about anywhere we want without it crashing so that's cool all right that works now also i added a few more tiles here i was just testing some stuff so you don't have to use these but uh yeah hopefully i have some type of a tile sheet soon which is kind of you know looks kind of all right um but that's cool that's good now my idea here is to just close all but this all right we're just gonna push this item class into item here there we go all right so item h and item cpp now my idea here is to keep this pure virtual or an abstract this should be an abstract class it doesn't have a lot of things it doesn't have a lot of things uh we need basically but It'll pretty much be just be a base class for other stuff and this is so that we can store all items no matter what they are in the same container because all items will derive from this class okay now i'm going to make another class i'm going to go ahead and put that in here uh, or just a general class basically i'm thinking i'm going to do a melee weapon i'll just call it melee weapon there we go base class item public and once that's done you're all good to go and then class item here as well forward declare that a little bit if in def uh me lee weapon h Did it do that automatically? Nope. Define. I wish it did that automatically at least, but that's it's all good. There we go. Once that's done, you're good to go. All right, so we include melee weapon here and we're good. And it kind of, yeah, it takes from item. Now, the only point of item is to, like I said, so we can keep items, all types of items in the same array and stuff like that. So I'm just going to put these into melee weapon. Where is the H file? Right here. Okay, there we go. So that means we can kind of organize everything we need. So everything we're not using, we can kind of just close down like this. You know? Like that. So we've got melee weapon. Uh, and let's do private here. Okay, so we're going to do two things. We're going to do a melee weapon class. And we're going to do a ranged weapon class and they'll have different properties. And then we can create, for example, a sword and a bow. Just those two classes, those two will be melee weapons and ranged weapon respectively. And then we'll try those out and we'll work on them like that. So we'll have multiple inheritance going on here. All right. Um, so that's great. So let's just go ahead and add a new item again, a new class called sword 
And this time we'll have melee weapon as the base class. Virtual destructor. Alright. Alright. And melee weapon by itself is an item. So you're kind of going that way. Hopefully you can see what's going on. Private. Alright. And we might change this if it doesn't work too well. We'll see how it goes. Um, if. If and if. Uh, sword H define and if sword H I guess that's how you do it anyway okay class melee weapon very good, very good. Okay, all right. So there you go. There you go. That's how it works. That's how it is. Um, and boom. There you go. Multiple inheritance going on. Let's just run this. Let's make sure it's all right. And then we're just going to move everything over to the melee weapon stuff. Uh, so let's open up. Where is it? Uh, resource files? No? Source files. Sword. Let's put that in melee weapon. Um, header files, sword. Put that in melee weapon. And there you go. Now we'll just start off with sword. Just because it'll be easy to kind of get started right here. And there you go. Now the basic structure is done. Let's go ahead into game state. Uh, let's open up states as well. Where's states here? Game state. And I'm just going to include that in the game state.h. I'm just going to include um, sword.h. Okay. And hopefully, sword.h includes melee weapon and melee weapon includes item. So we should have all that included with that. Um, go into game state.cpp. And where is it? It just ain't any init function, basically. You know, whatever. Just right here. Just say the or or just say sword. Sword. Okay. Just like that. Just basic. Let's go in here, and it's not gonna. It's just gonna do std. C out. Let's include as well, just to play around with this. Uh, include io stream. No, we do have io stream. Sorry, it's, it comes from that library. Um, C out. Testing sword, new line, and boom. Okay, let's run this. And let's see, am I even recording right now? Yes, it seems that way. All right. Okay. Camo. Camo. New game, didn't crash. Uh, I think it cleared... I think it cleared stuff out. Hold up. Um, game state. Let's put it in. Well, this is going to be crazy. Well, let's just put it in here. Let's see if it actually prints anything out. Otherwise, we'll just debug that. Um, and... All right, so it's not really working at the moment for some reason. Okay, so I had the two empty parentheses here. You don't want to do that. It's just some dumb thing I usually do for some reason. Um, but you don't need that. So once you do that, also I, I added a C out item to the item base class. Okay, and I'm going to add that to the melee weapon as well. But here I'm just going to say melee weapon and in sword obviously we have sword okay now one more time let's go in here and let's just take this and let's put it at at the end of all the initializations right there okay and then we run this hopefully we'll get a nice printout of all the stuff so let's look at that item melee weapon sword so all of those three constructors were called in the creation of sword okay all right and 
just to be clear, what you can do now is you can actually say item item equals sword. Hold up, it should be below there, right there. Okay, so if you had a bow here, you could also do this. You can make an item pointer that points to sword or points to bow, basically, and armor and everything. That's why we have the item base class because it's supposed to just be here to uh, to support this type of thing. All right, it's very important when we're going to store stuff in our inventory. We don't want to create different inventories, different arrays for all the different types of objects. We just want one type item and everything should be able to be stored in that array. Okay, so now that we know this is working, we're pretty much good to go. All right, now we can do the rest. Now we can go ahead and go into ranged weapon and add a new class again. And we're just going to call it ranged weapon. Okay, virtual destructor. Now this time, item is the base class. Okay, once that's done, don't do anything special. Just pull these over into ranged weapon. And let's make a private section here. Now I know these videos are going to be a little bit of a, you know, some testing and some stuff like that. It's not going to be uh, actually making the weapons right now. But we'll get to that hopefully you, uh, hopefully soon. Um, let's just go ahead and grab one of these if not defined thingies right there. Let's put that in here instead of pragma once. And let's say ranged weapon. Okay. And if. And then this is commented out and like that. Okay, very nice, very nice, very good. Uh, now ranged weapon, the ranged weapon base class is done. We can pretty much go ahead and make the bow, which we're going to do. Or which we're going to use for testing. I'm creating another, the final class. Just call it bow. Base class is now going to be ranged weapon. Ranged weapon. Okay, very good. Now the final time, for the last time, we're going to do this, okay? Class range weapon. And we're just going to go ahead and grab the stuff. Sorry for the lag. It's just I'm, I'm actually backing up some stuff while I'm doing this. Uh, I'm just going to go into sword.h, grab this for the last time, remove this, call this bow.h. I'm going to refrain from saving for Okay, I just said that. I just saved until the backup is done. Um, here we go. And if. No. Yeah, and if. Bow. Okay, good shit. So, ranged weapon, classroom, blah, 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 bow. We're also going to do a private section here. Very nice. Now, let's do the same test. Just to know that that works as well. Whoops. Um, STD C out bow. Okay, very nice. And range weapon is right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and say um, ranged weapon. And end that. This is just for our testing, alright? Just to make sure it works. And then we're going to go to game state. And right here for the final time, we're going to do bow, bow, boom. Also, we're going to include that into game state. Uh, here we go. Include bow.h. And we're going to have to include a few of the items. That's the only problem doing this. Doing this type of thing where, you know, we're going to be including all the different types of items and stuff. But that's cool. You know, we're, we're just going to have all the weapon types. Nothing special. So it won't be that hard. We can make another file, a separate file where we just include everything. Now let's see if this actually works. Um, I think, yeah, the hard drive is kind of slowish, sluggish right now. Anyway, new game. Item, range, weapon, bow. Good shit. Perfect.
perfect so there you go easy as that no problems we might be able to add these into hmm just add these into the our stdfx somehow or something like that we'll see we'll see how we do that we might add some more of these in there things that we don't include into each other kind of so we'll see how that works because bow and sword doesn't include anything else so we might be able to get away with that um but yeah yeah we'll, we'll look into that anyway doesn't really matter there you go guys and girls hopefully this was cool hopefully you learned something um in the next coming videos we will keep working on items maybe we'll make the sword begin with that make sure it is set up and ready to go also just draw just go ahead and put bow in there there you go yeah so we'll make sure sword works and we can attack with sword somehow some type of way we'll see how we do that and eventually we'll get to the bow and once those two are done we'll be able to attack and stuff and then we'll put in an enemy maybe uh, make some item drops and stuff happen all that stuff so it'll be cool we got lots of work to do lots of videos to make so uh, yeah, just look forward to that and I look forward to teaching more and working on this game. Thank you so much uh, Check out the description box all that stuff. Also drop a like subscribe if you like the content and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right. Bye. Bye